Hello guys, welcome back to e Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the bending stress in which we are going to find out some unknown parameter for the beam. So the question states that determine the minimum width of the beam is shown in the figure if the bending stress is not to be exceed 15 megapascal. So if our bending stress in the beam is not exceeding 15 megapascal, what should be the minimum width of the beam? This is the cantilever beam with the loaded with a uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter and the beam length is 8 meter. And this is the cross section detail of the beam where the depth of the beam is 800 millimeter while the width of the beam is unknown to us. So we have to find this minimum width of the beam. So what should be the minimum width of this beam in order that the bending stress should not exceed 15 megapascal? So, for this question, first we have to know about the bending stress formula. So, we know that the bending stress is equal to the M C over I. This formula is used to find out the bending stresses. Now, with the help of this formula, we will find out the unknown width of the beam. Now, in this formula, we know that the M is the moment. This M is the bending moment value where you want to find out the bending stresses i is the moment of inertia and c is the distance from the neutral axis of the beam to the extreme portion of the beam if this is the neutral axis for this beam so C is the distance from this neutral axis up to the top of the beam or to the bottom of the beam. So this distance is known as the C. So C is basically the distance from neutral axis to any to the top of the beam or to bottom of the beam. And if P is the bending stresses, bending stresses. So now we know that what will be the bending moment value for this beam, and what is the C value, and what is the moment of inertia, and what are the bending stresses. So with the help of this, we will find out the B value. So now we know that the if B is given to us, which is, which is in this case is. 15 megapascal. So, what is the moment? Moment value is unknown to us. So, we have to find out the moment value. Now, in order to find the minimum width of the beam, we have to find out the maximum bending moment for this cantilever beam. So, the moment value for this cantilever beam, we can find out. First of all, we can find out the support reactions for this beam. If this is support A, fixed support, so it will be the RA. So this load is, the total load acting on this beam is Ra will be equal to the 2 into 8 where this load is distributed over the distance of 8 meter. So it will be 2 into 8 is equal to 16. So 16 kilonewton is the support reactions for this beam and this will be the moment. So we can also easily find out the moment for this beam and it will be this 2 multiplied with 8 this whole distance multiply with the moment arm with the half of the 8. So it comes out to be 64 kilonewton meter. So this is the moment value, maximum moment for this cantilever beam. So now we will also hear the bending moment value 64 kilonewton meter. Now what is the C value? C is simply h by 2 because it is the half of the total depth it means 800 divided by 2 we get 400 millimeter or we can write 0.4 meter because we are using all the units in the kilonewton and meter now what is the i the moment of inertia so moment of inertia is equal to the b h cube by 12 because it is a rectangle the square beam so we can use this formula so 
In this case, B is unknown to us and H, H is 800 millimeter or we can say 0 0.8 meter cube dividing by 12. So moment of inertia comes out to be 0 0.042 into B where B is unknown to us. So now we find out all these parameters in this formula. Now we will put all these value in this formula in order to find out B. But this bending stress should be kept in mind that this is the unit of Newton per millimeter square because megapascal 15 megapascal means that it is in the unit of Newton per millimeter square. So we have to convert this 15 Newton per millimeter square in the unit of kilonewton and meter square. So how we can do? We can, if this is the FB, so it will be 15. So it will be 15 multiplying it with the 10 to the power minus 3 dividing by 10 to the power minus 6. So it comes out to be 15,000 kilonewton per meter square. Now we can use this value for the bending stresses in order to find out B. Because we convert this unit in kilonewton per meter square in order to have the same unit in this formula. So we know that the if B is 15,000. So it is, if I wrote this formula here, if B is 15,000, where moment is the maximum moment here, 64, multiplying it with the C, C is 0.4 meter. Dividing it with the I, I is 0.042B. Now we will shift this value here into the left side. So we will find out B. So by solving this equation, we get 0.042. Or we can simply shift this B value. So it will be more simple. So it is B will be equal to. And it comes out to be 0 0.040 meter because we use the unit of meter in this equation, in this formula. So our width of the beam is 0 0.04 meter. If we convert this into millimeter, it comes out to be 40 millimeter. So this B, which was unknown to us, is now 40 millimeter. So this was the minimum width of the beam in which our bending stresses in the beam will not exceed the 15 megapascal. So this is the way how to find out the unknown width or the dimension of the beam if we know that the bending stresses is given to us. It should be kept in mind that the minimum width of the beam refers to the maximum bending moment of the beam. If there if there is mention in the problem that you have to find the minimum width of the beam, it means that you have to find out the maximum bending moment for your beam in order to find out its unknown dimension. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching our video.